Oh, this is the south trailhead that we're leaving from here. Um, again, just like yesterday's video, this is, I like to do rides right after work. I work about five minutes away or 10 minutes away from the park. So it's easy for me to come here and ride really quick. So I like to try to do hour long rides right after work so I can still uh, somewhat beat traffic a little bit and not get not be very late going home uh, so this is mr toad's wild ride so mr toad's parallels the road Pevine falls road which is it to our left and now this is the start of a trail called foreplay it's a really short trail it's pretty fun it has some drops in it Pevine Falls Road. We're going to climb up it. <clears throat> this is another trail intersection here. This is Pevine Falls Road to the right. It is Johnson Mountain. Um, you could ride it in either direction from where we just came or from here going back to the trailhead. Uh, and to the left is the Quarry Trail that takes you up to the Bump Trail and the, probably the most famous obstacle in Oak Mountain, Blood Rock. So we're going to go up that today. Uh, be warned the quarry trail is one that always gives me trouble it has some very technical sections going up it that are hard uh, always at least hard for me to find the right line and generally have to stop and walk a few times it's a blast to come down it's a really fast trail you can fly down it but going up it's very technical it has a lot of uh, roots and really you know, pretty nice little rock gardens rock sections in it
you keep going straight, you'll take it to Blood Rock. We're gonna go to the left. The trail's called Centipede. It's a connector trail that connects this trail of Johnson and Hot. You go right, it goes to the upper part. You go left, it goes to the lower. The lower is really fun going this direction. Upper Jekyll and Hyde, in my opinion, is not fun in any direction. It's super technical, it's like a giant boulder field. It's really hard to get any kind of momentum or flow going in it. I've only ridden it downhill from Blood Rock, but that was not enjoyable either. Lower Jekyll and Hyde is really fun and it has a section that's very flowy. Once you get past these couple climbs to begin with. You go left to stay on Jekyll here. It's kind of a, it's a big intersection with a bunch of hiking trails. You gotta make sure you catch, catch that left. But it had a sign there, so. section of Jekyll and Hyde. It's a pretty fun trail for a little bit. Then you get, just like everything at Oak Mountain, more climbing.
right, we're gonna go back on Mr. Toad's. This is the same trail we came in on. It's a little more fun this way.